We've been a band for a little over 10 years, and we've probably played about 1,000 shows. And how do you feel about playing live? Uh, can't wait for the next 1,000. <laughs> First 1,000 is the hardest. Before we were ever ready to record, we played 100 shows. That's how we learned how to play music with other people. We just played as, as many gigs around LA as we could, and that was all we did for the first few years. We made a new record. We were in that mode for a long enough time. Now it's time to kind of experience that record with other people out on the road, and it feels like we reset the dial. This is number one all over again. <laughs> Spencer kind of got me into collecting postcards. I like to collect those and sometimes I'll bring some with me on tour. I think the new record has a sense of travel. It feels like a musical postcard. Open your eyes, that spot. It's the other side of what we've been doing, you know? It's just like yin and yang of studio time and road time. I think all the tracks have some sort of beginning somewhere else. Last time it's on the road, sound checking in between those time periods where like you're not taking anything seriously and you're just relaxed. We're four parts to make a whole. Things move around, different parts shift. It's like a puzzle putting this one together and I think it turned out really nice. Every bit of it has been kind of a surprise. Like, oh, maybe we can play outside of LA. Oh, maybe we could play outside of California. None of it we really expected, but we feel pretty lucky to be able to do just those things. Bottom line, we wouldn't be doing any of this if we didn't enjoy doing it. We weren't having fun. The day that ends, it all comes crumbling down. <laughs> <laughs>